In this video, we'll show you the 10 easiest frugal living habits that save money, so you can watch your money grow without putting in much effort at all. Turn windfall income into a hurricane. A windfall income like a bonus at work or an inheritance can seem like the best gift. But before you start thinking about what you can buy with the extra money, turn on your frugal living thinking cap and think about this. Instead of buying an item you likely don't need, Think about how great it would be to increase your savings or increase your retirement fund. Or, if you find your emergency fund to be lower than you'd like it to be, then consider placing that money there. That way, the sudden surprise of money falling into your lap can be used to deal with the sudden surprise of an accident that may make a financial dent in your life. Become a child again No, we don't mean let yourself do whatever you want and have temper tantrums in the grocery store but learn to be content with what you already have. For example, if you give a child a toy or a box, they'll likely have a lot more fun with the box and their creativity than with the toy. For those looking to save money, then learn to channel your inner child and have fun with the items you already have at home. You'll be surprised at how many things you have in your home that you can turn into something amazing. Are the hours worked worth it? This is a great frugal living habit for those who struggle to figure out if an item is worth it or not. Essentially, you want to calculate how many hours of work it would take to buy the item you're looking at. For instance, let's say that you want to buy a new monitor for your computer that costs $150. You make $15 per hour at your job, which means it would take you 10 hours of work to pay for the monitor. With a simple calculation like this, you can save money realizing that a lot of items really aren't worth the amount of work you put in. 72 is an important number. 72 is an important number, but it's more specifically when you put the word hours behind it. Using a time filter like the 72 hours rule will help make sure that any purchase you make is something you actually need. The way this frugal living tip works to save money is that it curbs impulsive purchases since impulses tend to fade away very quickly. Eat in instead of eating out There are many benefits of eating at home instead of eating out. Firstly, the food is usually much healthier. Secondly, you can prepare meals according to your taste. Thirdly, you can learn an awesome and valuable skill, but arguably the most important is that it can help you save money. By focusing on making meals at home, you can save money on grocery trips since you'll be looking to buy specific ingredients and less budget buster foods like chips, cookies and candy. So take the leap and learn to become an expert home cook. Having used items isn't all that bad. With how expensive life is for everyone, it's becoming more common to shop secondhand. If you're someone who still hasn't hopped on the bandwagon for shopping used, then you're missing out because it's not all that bad. In fact, shopping secondhand will help you save money and practice the ultimate frugal living. Although you might be concerned about the quality of an item, you'll likely be pleasantly surprised at both the selection and the quality of items you can find. Create an itinerary for your hometown One of the worst ways to throw your money away, especially when you're trying to save money, is to plan a vacation. However, if you feel you need to have a break and enjoy yourself, then think of creating an itinerary for your hometown and have a staycation. For instance, you can set up some places to go every day that you've never visited before to mimic a vacation. This frugal living tip can help you save money by significantly reducing expenses like travel, hotels and food. Use cash and save the change Using cash is one of those old-time frugal living habits that are extremely useful to help you save money. It does this by forcing you to only spend what you have in your wallet. Now it's inevitable to have some change left over from purchases you make over time, which is where the good old piggy bank comes in. Every time you come home from shopping with cash, any spare change can be thrown in the piggy bank, and when it's full, you can simply deposit it back into your bank account again. Learn the skill of borrowing Borrowing is an awesome frugal living habit that often goes overlooked because of how convenient it is to buy things these days. However, borrowing can help your home stay decluttered and also help you save money. For example, you may know someone who has a driven lawnmower. Instead of buying yourself a driven lawnmower, you could ask to borrow it for a cheap price. 
or you can even exchange services in return to save even more money. Practice no spend periods. Sometimes the easiest way to save money is to just stop spending it. That's where no spend periods really come in handy. It's good to pick one day a week where you don't spend any money on anything at all. At first, it may be hard not to spend, but it'll help you gain awareness of how often your mind turns to money in purchases. In the long run, these days will help you save money by learning that you don't need to spend money every day to live. It'll also help you understand and appreciate your money more. While you've learned some of the easiest frugal living tips that can help you save money, you may still want more ways to save money. Fortunately, we've compiled Dave Ramsey's top frugal living tips so you can learn to save money from one of the best personal finance teachers out there. Be sure to click here so you can have the best results.